Hey everyone, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, in today's video, I just want to cover jetting a four-stroke dirt bike. Um, I have three 250Fs right here. All of them need a little bit of jetting. So I figured I'd do a video on uh, the most common problems that people are trying to uh, resolve as far as jetting is concerned. Um, so in this video, I'm not going to cover how to take the carb off, but I'll, I'll remove the carb and we'll shoot the video on the uh, workbench. Um, but first, let's uh, talk about a couple of the circuits that people you know, usually jet. Uh, the idle circuit, which is the pilot, and the fuel screw adjustment. So we'll cover uh, that. Um, the accelerator pump. Um, usually when you're rolling really slow and you go to whack the throttle, you get that bog. Um, I'll, I'll show you a couple tips on how to address that as well. Uh, next is the needle. Uh, clip position or maybe a new needle, how to swap that out in the carb. And finally, your main jet, which is your three-quarter to full throttle uh, throttle position, uh, wide open throttle run. Um, so this is an 06 YZ250F, and what we're going to do is we're going to swap in an 08 needle. Supposedly they went to a dual taper and it's got a better uh, low and mid-range hit. So uh, that needle is an NFPR, and it's in the fifth position. I'll have all this info on my blog, so definitely check it out. Um, we're going to be decreasing the leak jet size from... I believe stock is uh, an 80. We're going to go down to a 45. We're going to do the O-ring mod, and what that's going to do is shoot more fuel when you whack the throttle, and it'll eliminate that bog. And we're going to up the main jet from 178 to 180, and also the pilot. Um, now I'm shooting this intro last, actually. I, I did the the pre-ride, the carb uh, jetting, and the after riding and then I went back and shot this intro so I can you know summarize what what was going on so this bike is completely stock except it has the o-ring mod and the um, fuel screw was out four turns when you're gonna see the the pre-ride or the before in a little bit here so what that tells me is someone was trying to eliminate the bog or get a really rich condition right off the bat and they were doing it with the fuel screw where they should have been altering the leak jet so what I'm going to probably do, a lot of guys do this, I'm going to up the pilot one size and hopefully that will get put the fuel screw at two to two and a half turns out and I'm going to enrich in the pump shot. So it will it'll have a leaner idle and it will have the uh, fuel on demand when you need it when you whack the throttle. Let's go ahead and do a little video of the jetting with completely stock O-ring mod and fuel screw four turns out. So that was the test ride. You can see when I go to whack the throttle at a very low RPM, low speed, I get that bog. And usually it's really it's a lot worse on, on other bikes I've ridden. And, and because the fuel screw is four turns out, you get a little, uh, it compensates for that a little bit. It's not correct, but it can be done. You can open up your fuel screw a little bit to, to get rid of that uh, um, bog. However, it may be too rich and you might have hot start problems. So they're very finicky. Um, and uh, you definitely want to have that set right. Now I have a separate video on fuel screw adjustment, so I won't cover that here, but I'll link to it somewhere in this video, and um, you can check that out. I also have a video on the O-ring mod, so definitely check that out. You can do it right when it's on the bike. Um, and for the purpose of this video, I pulled the whole carb off. You can change the pilot and the main just by twisting the carb. You can get the needle from under the seat. 
Um, however, the leak jet, you need to pull the carb off and it's in, located inside the fuel bowl. Also, I want to mention, I do have videos for a valve adjustment on an 09 YZ250F. It'll, it'll cover many years. I also have a top end video. So if you have this bike and you need some additional videos, I have those as well. All right, so now that we got the before ride in, let's go ahead and tear the carb apart and uh, I can walk you through um, how to jet it. All right, so here's the carb on the workbench. Uh, I had fun pulling that off. Um, and here's the parts that we ordered to uh, jet this carburetor. Um, here is the leak jet. And you're probably wondering why it says Honda there. Um, actually, all these bikes are equipped with um, the same FCR, Kihan FCR carburetors. And Honda d does a nice job in their Fishy Finder listing alternate part numbers. So this 0450 is a 45 leak jet. Uh, for some reason, Yamaha and others don't um, do that. So I just looked up an 07 uh, CRF 250R and looked for the 45 uh, leak jet. Um, again, this is an 06 YZ250F and I ordered an 08 needle. In 08, they went to a dual taper needle. You can feel it right there at next down and then once more again here. Um, and supposedly that has a better bottom and mid um, performance gain to it. So we're gonna try that. Um, and here is the uh, adjustable fuel screw. This one still has the stock screw, which is impossible to adjust. Um, you know when it's on the bike and it's running. And here's a main jet. Now, if you want to order any of these parts, I am an affiliate for Rocky Mountain. You place an order by clicking through on my site. I earn a little commission, um, and there's no cost to you. So if you can uh, click on that ad, by all means, go for it. It'll uh, help me out. And, uh, doing these videos. Um, okay, some of the prices on here. This screw here is uh, 12 bucks. The main jet is 225. The needle was 1150, and um, this leak jet was. I'm not sure. It's not on here. Well, anyway, I think the leak jet is five to ten dollars. So. Um, well, let's, uh, let's take this apart. Uh, normally you can do a lot of this um, while it's on the bike. Um, the main jet, the pilot jet, and the needle. The leak jet, however, is in the float bowl. Um, so, you know, you have to do it this way. Um, also, this, this gives me a you know, better chance to explain everything to you. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I don't have to open this up, but I, I will just to show you, and it's kind of loose, so that's it's good we check that. So when it's on the bike, you can just drop this, and look, there's some crud in there. So I'm going to have to give this carb a clean here. see that pretty much all the problems have been eliminated. I might have a little fine tuning to do once we're out on the track uh, with different temperatures. Right now it's 90 degrees, 100% humidity here. The, the weather's just nasty. Um, so um, fine tuning it at the track should be no issue, but you know, around here and you know, 
there's too many houses, I can't open it up for too long and, and do too much tuning. So, so if you have any questions, comment on my site, not on YouTube, because the commenting is sometimes screwed up and uh, I don't always receive them or I can't reply to them. So I really appreciate if you click on the vid link, the, the description, and go into my blog and asking questions there. It's, it's, I get a faster response time with all that. Um, and again, if you need any parts, I'm an affiliate for Rocky Mountain. Click through my site. It's no cost to you. I earn a little commission for making these videos. Alright, thanks for watching. It's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com.